Hey guys, gals, and legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Let's Relax with Rimworld. Perhapsly, perhapsly, oh, I'm not even going to restart, we're just going to go with it. Perhapsly, this is going to be the last episode of this series. That will be left up to you, however, you are the ones who will decide the fate of the series. Will we start again in Alpha 17 with something like the Silk Road I've been mentioning in the past episodes? The poll will be on the screen right now right above my head so have a look if it hasn't popped up yet if you can't see it click the little eye in the corner which will bring up all the cards you should be able to vote perfectly fine on mobile if you're using the youtube app or if you're on your pc it should be there as well it's not an annotation it is a card so it will have popped up up the top if it hasn't like i said just hit that little eye button up the top there when you kind of mouse over the screen or tap the screen and you'll be able to vote there and if for some reason you can't let me know down below as to what you would like to happen do we wrap things up is this the last episode well even if this is the voted to be the last episode we'll still have another episode which will kind of finish things up and will yeah serve as a memorial for those who have lost along the way and uh, some of the milestones we've made so there will be a final final episode but that won't kind of count towards the episodes per week so don't worry you won't be missing out on an episode if we decide otherwise so yeah we'll just continue this episode all the same like it's any other day things are going pretty damn good in our colony at the moment everyone is getting along relatively well as well which is kind of surprising um uh, we, got, we have a few moods that are kind of ducking down at the moment though um ugly environment um okay guess maybe and dave you are actually a night owl and we have we should have restricted you to working during the night we haven't crap well he's been working during the day the poor bugger sorry about that well we'll go ahead and get it to kind of uh, emulate some of the others and uh we'll allow anything in these other times just like so yeah there we go nice and easy okay all right, and we will continue. So that means that um, I'm imagining Dave will probably go and try and rest soon. However, he's doing a good job of getting some things planted. Everyone else is just hanging out in here. We've got Ghostface, our new, our newest young um, Yorkshire Terrier, who uh, is just an absolute badass. Like, I mean, with a name like Ghostface, that's just a badass name. And I like that they can actually eat. I didn't realize they could, and that's why I don't often do the corners like that. I didn't realize they could have the meal on the same square like that. Um, I know in the past in RimWorld, they haven't been able to do that, so yeah. This is the last day of winter, like I said at the uh, end of last episode. We have survived the winter, and come tomorrow morning, it will be the first day of spring. Temperatures will still be low, however, though, so we will keep the heaters on. Um, outdoors, it's looking pretty good, though, and... Um, I mean, in here it's actually too warm, surprisingly enough, so we can start to uh, designate some of these to be turned off because uh, it is actually surprisingly warm in there. Now, we did have Sam hunting last time. Oh, you are hunting the alpha beavers, that's good. So we had some bears marked to be hunted, uh, so I'm sure that they will also be hunted, but um, at least with these alpha beavers we'll have a constant source of meat for a little while. And Justice... Justice is doing a great job at getting that kibble made for our animals, so no one should be starving. All the animals should be doing just fine. We have a plethora of food at the moment, just an absolute ton of rice and a lot of corn as well. We are, we're doing pretty good in terms of our food, really, as far as things go. Um, I want to tidy up the yard a little bit here, so we're going to go designate some of these um, trees to be chopped down. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And we will unforbid the egg on the outside there we have quite a number of boars as well boar number 19 so that must mean that we have a a decent number of boars roaming around the place not all of them we've been able to train to haul um as of yet but quite a few of them can and god damn i've just seen how fast i am on that bionic leg that's incredibly quick yeah you can imagine um if we were again i'm going back to the silk road thing if we went to that you know we could look at either producing our own bionics or at least buying our own bionics so we'd have a whole kind of team of bionic um murderers <laughs> that will murder people and uh yeah take their uh, take their stuff and by stuff i mean organs yeah yeah <laughs> I think it will be fun. I think it will be different from what we've done before. Um, 
Yeah. Oh, nice kill, Sam. Well done. Well done. And as for the area that we're in as well, I don't know. Like, I, I quite often like going random with the areas. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we'd want to do. Um, it would be kind of cool to do an area that we haven't done before. That might be more challenging. Um, yeah, I mean, like, the ice shelf or something like that could be quite a challenge. It might be too much of a challenge. Yeah. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I'd want to I'd wanna have a river nearby. Because that's a river or a road. A river and or a road would be cool to have nearby. Just because those are, those are things that are new in Alpha 17. Also, there are new, like, global events. So there are new global quests and things like that that you can do. Um, so I think that's interesting. Like, I, I like the idea of it. I, I know there have been mods in the past that have added those kinds of quests. But now they are in the game itself. So I'll be, yeah... I'll be looking forward to seeing how that kind of gets implemented. We've got most of our animals sleeping inside and it's nice and toasty, looking at 17 degrees. Justice is going to be working throughout the night, making lots and lots of kibble, butchering the uh, beavers as they come in, and we can see that spring has begun, and, and because spring is here, we now have hard snow coming down. Which kind of makes sense, because um, after living in Toronto, I realized that spring is just an arbitrary thing. And really, we're still going to have a lot of snow during spring. A lot of snow, a lot of rain. Um, especially here in New Zealand, like, we get a lot of, a lot of rain come spring. And, it, and if it, it is hard snow, okay, I was going to say, we can't really see it, but... That's not so much a problem because we're not relying on animals eating um, the grass outside, and definitely not the grass inside. Um, we have we have enough kibble there now. Although in saying that, they go through that kibble pretty quickly. They go through like 400 kibble in a day. Easy, easy. Wow, yeah, you can hear it coming down. Um, I actually went into this because I wanted to um, ask this wood to be chopped down because I know even though that these aren't um, like wood bearing trees yet because they're still young I just want to clear them out of here just so the area is nice and clear yeah all right and I'm liking that the the animals like chilling out in here it's good it's good they like the beds um, I'm actually tempted to go ahead and just build a whole lot more just along here so that uh, we can have more of them come stay in here overnight because it does seem like a, a large number of them enjoy sleeping inside here. And we'll have some next to the uh, next to the kibble and the berries. And I'm hoping that those berries get eaten. Um, they should get eaten. They shouldn't spoil. Because the animals uh, the animals do like to eat them, so they'll come and they'll come and have a munch. Um, surprisingly not getting too many of these barrels filled, even though we have um, a decent number of hops in there at the moment. The temperature is 20 degrees, right? That's nice. This is going to be done in 18 hours. We're going to have some beer. Fantastic. Good stuff. All right, Justice, you just keep on making that kibble. And the comms console has broken down. Surprise, surprise. Not that we use it pretty much at all. <laughs> It'll be good to have it working. Um, I might try and get myself to work on that just as soon as I've uh, finished this fine meal. Uh, oh, feed Trianca. Yeah. Reserved by Panda. Okay. Panda, you're going to do it. Nice. And Dave? Yeah, Dave is chilling. Having something to eat. I'm happy that we managed to have at least one wedding um, during this series. Uh, you know, it would be cool to have more, but um, I guess that's the thing. Is like, you know, I, I, I do like the way that the relationships work in this. Um, and we've had another board given birth. This has definitely been a... a We've, we've kind of um, managed to make us revolve around um, animal husbandry for the most part. Um, taking care of our animals and, uh, and essentially growing them to being a quite large, um, having a quite large number of them. Um, like a, a really decent number. Uh, I mean, like we can see our muffler herd has grown a lot. Uh, since we started, um, we just had two when we started, and then once we got that male in there, they uh, really started going. Zeke having some of the smoke leaf. Enjoying it, I'm sure. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, god damn it. Bloody grizzlies. A grizzly out the front again. Son of a bitch. Ah. Well, unforbid that boar. 
He wasn't he wasn't a pet to anyone, but that's still bloody annoying. So Sam is going to come over and shoot this bear in the face. Not that the bear is doing anything wrong, it's just doing what it does. That's doing what bears do. Prioritize hunting the grizzly. We shoot it across the water. Grizzly bear revenge, and uh, I think she must have shot off one of, one of its feet. Oh no, shot in the spine. Okay, yeah, she uh, she made quick work of that bear. She got revenge for the boar, and the boar was quickly taken away, by the looks of things. Um, do we have any other bears that are just kind of randomly roaming about? We have that one there, but um, I would imagine the alpha beavers are going to keep him pretty busy for the most part. We have one all the way up there as well. We see the snow is slowly starting to cover the map yet again. Although a lot of the a lot of the grass seems to survive the snow, it doesn't seem to uh, die off. It all kind of stays underneath of it, which um, I guess is good. It means that there is some kind of food there come spring. Yep, they're going through that kibble really fast. Oh, I should have known. No surprises there. Jill is getting back to uh, shoveling some of that snow, making sure that it's nice and quick for them to be able to get across here. Even though they still take shortcuts anyway. <laughs> Sometimes it is faster. Once it gets to really heavy snow, they do tend to use those pathways a lot more. So it's still good that we're doing them. Um, and our alpacas are still giving us a lot of fur. Um, the muffalos will as well, as we can see here. Um, so the muffalos are going to give us wool and they're going to give us fur. So they're really good for that reason. Um, yeah, it's good for us to keep them around. Even even the male ones we can still use just for the fur alone. They're good. They're good. Good muffalos. And our chickens. Well, we love our chickens. We love our chickens. We love our turkeys. They're doing us well. Wow, 37. Holy crap. 30, 37 chicken eggs just kicking about in there. Another forbidden egg. I'll go and bring that inside. And uh, these are our bears. Grizzly 1, Grizzly 2. Yeah, we've got a male and a female. Why don't we have little bears? Thought we'd have little bears by now, huh? What's going on? What's going on, bears? Get to it. I want my army of bears already. Twinkie, you're, you're freaking adorable. Oh, I was like, you're carrying Lucy? No, you're not carrying Lucy. Uh, the question is, what are you going to hunt? A beaver or a bear? It looks like it's going to be a beaver. Is it going to be a hit? Sam is quite a crack shot. I say that and she misses. Yeah, I mean, she's she's passionate about it as well. So this makes her happy going out and hunting and, I guess, killing other people. She's stoned at the moment, though. So I imagine that would be impeding her hunting abilities somewhat. She's going for the one right back there because why shoot the ones that are closer to you? Because uh, it's too easy that way. Too easy. Right, we'll let that kind of continue on. And we can see the number of uh, enemies that we've, we've killed over time here. Quite a few. <laughs> There's quite a few of them in there now. And these are all enemies. Uh, actually, in saying that, some of them are um, allies as well that have died while they've been here. I don't think we've left anyone out just kind of rotten. I don't think so. I think we've been pretty, pretty on top of that. For the most part. Yeah. Uh, see, that's the unfortunate thing. The unfortunate thing is, like, if, if we're in combat and we ac accidentally end up killing someone, I don't think we can still harvest those organs. They, they're, they're no good. It'd be good if there was, like, a little bit of time afterwards that you could uh, potentially operate. That would be that would be nice. Oh, the beer is a little, a little sketchy. Yeah, we can see how hungry they are. Making components. Good on you, booty. Yeah, we, 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 st we still seem to go through them pretty quickly. I would like the power armor to be finished as well, but uh, you know what? Let's um, let's get him to work on that for a little bit. Let's just suspend this for now. And so if we go to booty, drilling at deep drill. How about we, oh, because it's suspended, right? Yeah. How about we unsuspend that? Make power armor. There you go, buddy. Jump back to it, booty. All right. Uh, I'm tempted to give Tri Tranka the arm while we're here. <laughs> to operate on her and give her the uh, Scyther, Scyther arm. Could be cool. You know what? We're going to do it. Just for practice. Ludmilla is pregnant. Okay. Let's see. We want to install a Scyther blade on her left hand. Yeah. 
What if you had two? <laughs> Does that mean you can attack twice? I don't know. Maybe it does. I'm not sure. I am not sure. Uh, we're going to allow her to have a bit better medicine then. And we'll see if uh, anyone is going to go and operate on her. Not sure who would. Oh, was that... Uh, who was that that was having a little bit of a, a love interaction then? Let's have a look at needs. Rebuffed by Zeke. It's again Zeke. Everyone's trying to woo Zeke all the time. But Zeke has already taken by Bradley, the dashing, handsome older man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bradley. Taking care of her. Good on you, mate. Poison ship. A large piece of an ancient ship has crashed nearby. It's leaking toxic material and will kill all plants in an expanding circle around itself. Destroy it as soon as possible. This thing is dangerous, however, though. You gotta watch out for stuff like this because, yeah, sure. It seems like, oh, it's a ship thing. Let's go kill it. That'd be a good idea. Yes, it'd be a good idea, but there's also a chance that there might be inhabitants in there. Yeah. So we would need to be ready, set ourselves up, um, in a pretty decent position for us to do some damage. You know what? You, you know what? No, let's not do that. Let's use the freaking mortars. It'll be practice with them anyway. Okay, so yeah, I will grab myself. Let's go man that mortar. And let's grab Sam as well, who is currently hunting a, a grizzly bear. We'll get her to jump on that as well. Okay, so I'm in position. We're gonna set a force target and we're going to set this as the target. It's not moving, so I imagine that we'll be able to do a pretty decent shot here. Let's see. Well, we overshot by a little bit. We'll see. Awoke 0.0, .0 days ago. Mm. Mm. I don't like it. Set force target. So we're going to go through them a little quick here, but um, we'll see. All right, so watch Sam's shot. Come on. Seems to be a little bit off to the left. By quite a bit. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, we'll let them do that for a little bit. One patient is awaiting operation. Okay, that one seems to be a little bit more on target. Let's hope it's not overshoot. Yeah. Oh, God. Justice has catastrophically failed. Nice one, dude. Oh, you cut off her arm. Yeah, well, I, I thought that was happening. You were installing the scyther blade. Do oh, God, she's... she's <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tranka. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, so, she... She has lost her arm in that process, and we can't install that without an arm. Because it's a hand. Oh, nice, a hit. And you see, you see why I didn't want to just straight up attack it? Because of these bastards. Now, they're just wandering around right now. We, if we can take care of them from a distance, then we can... So, we don't want to... So, stop attacking force target. I want to see if they will try and hit them as they're roaming about there. So, let's see. That's going to fire. Shell loaded. Here we go. We're firing. All right, let's see. Because I don't know where the firing is coming from right now. Oh, a little short. That's okay. So as long as we're attacking in this region here, we should be able to hit some of them. Hmm. We'll have another one firing in just a moment. Unfortunately, we are using our mortar shells here. Although in saying that, Booty is making more shells by the looks of things. Oh, he's just taken the power armor off there. Nice. So he's keeping them, uh, he's keeping them good. Come on. Oh, that was close. It's close. Because the difficult thing is predicting where they are going to be. Yeah, you, the centipede with the Inferno Cannon, that's the one I'm kind of concerned about. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, people. I might need to set a force target to be like in and around this region because they might be trying to predict the path that they're going to walk on. I'll allow them to fire one more time and just see how it ends up. Who's it going to be? 14 seconds. Okay, so it's going to be Sam that's firing next. 
Here it goes. We're a little faster than it. Yeah, bugger. Yeah, so I think as long as it's around that region, we'll be okay. So we'll take uh, my one, and we'll go set force target, and we'll go here. I think I might have fired in time, though. Yeah, we already, we'd already fired. Oh, lol. And that one we actually did hit. We managed to actually... We managed to inca incapacitate it. Nice. So I think I will stay um, locked on. But we'll see what Sam can do. Alright, here we go, Sam. Let's do this thing. Booty is bringing out more ammunition for us. Good dude. We might have actually just had more in a, in a stockpile somewhere, potentially. Damn. Yeah, so I think we, I think for that one we want to uh, set it as well. Set it kind of in this region. Because they do seem to wander there quite, quite frequently. Okay, here comes the next, and it is quite off to the side. Wow, I missed by quite a bit. Because that's the, I guess that's the other side of it as well, is that um, there is a, there's a relatively high chance that we can just straight up miss, so. Not sure, not sure whether or not the uh, force target or that is better. I mean, what we can do is we can just do this, right? Oh, yes, we got another. Perfect. Excellent. And they, uh, yeah, they don't know where these shots are coming from, so they are just going to keep on roaming about. We can keep getting time going a little bit faster. Um, I do need to be mindful of... Um, oh, we hit that. Okay. Yeah, we need to be mindful of our mood, though. Because uh, it will be affected. Come on. We can get them. Ooh, close. Ooh, again, close. Okay, <laughs> we're nailing that one. The centipede with Inferno Cannon is what I'm kind of concerned about. We're going to have to take Sam off there in a moment. Yeah, Sam, you've done an excellent job. Go and rest. I will stay here for a little bit longer. I don't want to use all of the shells. I'm going to try and take myself off um, the force target. And we'll just see how this one goes. I think we are going to need to send us in there to uh, to clean it up. Close, but no cigar. Okay, so I'm going to let myself rest now as well. Oh, rest. Go rest. Okay, and I think... Uh, I think we are going to have to send some of us out. Sam with the sniper rifle is going to be good. Torvid with the LMG, also good. Because the thing is, like, we just want to fall back as quickly as possible. As soon as something starts going wrong, we just pull back. But we are going to want a few of us to be there. The incendiary cannon, though, on the centipede is going to be a little difficult. See how the plants are dying off around it? So that the poison is slowly leaching out of here. You know what? I might I might just take Zeke and just chuck Zeke on the mortar for now. See how that goes. See, it's good. The rest of the colony has just been going pretty much fine this whole time. Okay, loaded, and we're going to be shooting in one. One. <laughs> there we go. We're shooting, and bam! I'll chase it. On. No luck. No such luck. Alright, well, we'll kind of allow Zeke to continue on with that for now. But um, I, I would like to... Hmm, it's going to take a little while for, for Sam to be good to go. But we kind of need Sam for this. We need her to be able to try and take down these enemies. Oh! Well, <laughs> we're definitely hurting those ones a little bit more. More that little one that we want to try and take out. Because then we can just focus fire on the centipede. Let's see. Come on. Oh, nice! That was a hit! A hit on the centipede. A pretty decent hit at that as well. Yeah. First body ring, third body ring. Come on. A little far off. Don't think we have too many left there, do we, Zeke? Three shells. Well, we'll allow these last three to be fired. See if we can do any more damage from a distance. 
Oh, another. Okay. I don't think it was enough to get a hit, though. So we've got two more left. Just fast forward. Oh, again. I think it's close, but just no cigar, unfortunately. Damn. Such a big target as well. Okay, this should be the last shot. Let's see how we do. Okay, I believe that is it. Uh, oh, no, we got some more. Booty is still making more, but... Um, I just want Sam to be back. Come on, Sam. Thank you, Booty. Appreciate it. Yeah, we need to go take that thing down. Um, do we have any other heavy, heavy, heavy weaponry? We have the sniper rifle, right? We have an LMG. Oh, do we have MP grenades? We've got frag grenades. I was so sure we had some MP grenades kicking about here somewhere. Another sniper rifle down there. More frags, more frags. Assault rifle, good. Ah, here we go. MP grenades. Ah, they're all pretty crap quality, unfortunately. They don't need to be amazing, though, right? Hmm. Let's have a look. <laughs> Let's have a look at the others. Uh, so, Zeke, I think I'm actually going to give Zeke the MP grenades. See anyone else that has kind of semi-shooting skill. Bradley? Okay. Let's give you the MP grenades as well. Oh, dear, Sam. I did not realize you were out and shooting. You need to be shooting at other things. Alright, let's get this turned on. Just for safety's sake. Come on, Sam. Ooh, okay. Little dangerous. Alright, Sam, you just run back. Thank you, Sam. Excellent work. Okay, uh, well, seeing as she is up and about, I think we should go ahead and get her to come out here. Along with everyone else. I'm going to wake myself up. Um, let's see. So Zeke with the grenades. Solid with your minigun. Excellent. Okay, Bradley, get you out here as well. Torvjord with your LMG. And, uh... Yeah, I think we'll leave the others behind for now, just for safety's sake. But we'll, we'll kind of wait till everyone gets into position here. Once they're all here, we'll start to move up on them. Okay, so that's three. Okay, that's all of us. Nice. Oh, and we got the bear. Yeah, good old attack bear. Okay, all right. So we are going to be opening with Sam. We want Sam to try and take down our fellow over there. So let's get Solid to jump here. Well, I'm going to get myself to jump here. Zeke, we're going to have standing behind here. Uh, let's see, Torvjord, we're going to have you to the side. Bradley, we're going to have you there. How far can you throw these grenades, I wonder? Oh, we've got both bears here? Excellent. Okay, not very far. That's quite a, f that's quite a small range. But uh, okay, so Sam, it looks like, is trying to take a shot. Nice. Okay, well, we'll, let, we'll let her take it. Okay, oh, they are firing back. This could be bad. Come on. Come on, Sam, you need to get the first hit here. Oh, gosh. Okay, so Torvid, we're actually going to pull back. Uh, Bradley will pull you back as well. Oh, close. I think it's going to be out of range now. Yep, it is out of range. It will wander back in eventually, though, so mm, do we play the waiting game? I don't want to. I don't want to get that one's attention yet. Well, we might. We might have to. Oh no, maybe not. Here comes the other one. Oh, it's so slow. Well, I guess we can take a shot, can't we? Hmm. No. We need to take down that one because it has the range. Oh, so close, Sam. So close. You got this. I believe in you, Sam. Come on, I said I believe in you. <laughs> oh, so close. At least we can kind of fast forward through this a little bit. However, it is unfortunate because we are going to be getting like hungry and tired while we're out here like this. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Can we hit the big guy? No, the big guy's going away. Okay. All right, Sam, prepare yourself. Get that rifle ready. 
Oh, okay, we got a hit. We got a hit. Not my. Oh, we just shot off his left arm. Okay, well, I guess that's good. It doesn't look like it's hurt, though, even though we shot off its arm. Good shooting. We finally got a finally got a decent hit. We don't seem to be able to kind of get them, antagonize them into an attack here at all. Let's see if we can attack the big guy. Oh, we most certainly can attack the big guy. Okay. Oh, Sam, I'm going to need you to get back now. Please don't get hurt. Oh. Okay. Let's see if it does come down. It is moving. It looks like it might be trying to attack us. How far can it shoot that incendiary launcher? I wonder. Well, we can hit it pretty good from back here. Minor break risk, yeah, I'm not surprised. Sam, keep it up though. You are doing a good job at hitting this thing. Putting hole after hole into it. Come on. I know it's a moving target, but it's very big, so we should be able to hit this thing. All right, she's gonna have to move up again. Okay. We're going for the other now. Okay, we hit it again. Oh, it's right seeing sensor. So it can't see that well now either, which is essentially its eye that we just shot out somehow. So Sam is doing a good job. I think we just need to move up on him. Okay. It's damaged, its thorax is damaged. Okay, and finally the thing is dead. Okay, so now I do need to come up here with the rifle so that we can start shooting at this thing. Because what I kind of want to do is get its attention. Okay. Because we might just be able to kill it with the sniper rifle because it, the thing is it's slow. Oh, okay, that's a good hit. Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, so it appears, oh God, oh God, oh God. Sam, run, 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 run. Don't worry about fire. Oh, she can't run. Why can't she run? Okay, combat supplier. Well, that's great. <laughs> Cranked town into planet area here, apparently. But that's not gonna help us out too much. We need to move up on this thing and fast. What's the range like on that? Let's see, move up to the tree to it. Oh, it's solid. Okay, so Zeke and Bradley are gonna try and move around at the sides. Okay, Torviad, what's the range like on that? Not amazing, not great. Not a great long range weapon. Okay, so Solid should be able to shoot his minigun now. Here we go. Okay, uh, I've managed to get its attention. <laughs> so let's just keep on dodging and weaving. Now weave, weave, damn it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try and stay weaving as much as possible. Okay. All right, oh, Bradley, oh, don't stand in the fire. Why are you standing in the fire, buddy? Okay, oh, bears, watch out. Should we release the animals? Release the animals. Uh, do we want to have the bears in? Call the animals back. <laughs> I said call the animals back. Oh god, animals. Okay, bears. Okay, let's see. We need to go to our bears. Try and track them down. Wherever they be. Where be the bears? Grizzly. Grizzly bears. There they are. Okay, so we need to take them off that so they should just start to head back okay come on get out of there go go grizzly bear go get out of here go okay good he's getting out okay now solid we need to get him to be a little bit of an action hero same thing with zeke here so zeke's gonna go up behind this tree oh god oh bear run bear okay i guess he's i guess he's pissed off now because he's set on fire okay just please just get out get out of here bear come on stop this madness okay so now zeke Oh, Zeke, we're actually gonna have to get to move up further. Okay, Bradley, see if you can get that MP grenade off. Um, Zeke, same thing with you. Okay, they've both chucked the MP grenades and now get back. Oh, there we go, MP grenade went off. It is down, it is incapacitated. We have killed the beast. The grizzly bear is also incapacitated as well. Let's make sure that everyone, okay, the e oh. Okay, they're, they've adapted, apparently. All right. So we have a combat slayer that's come by. <laughs> but we managed to defeat these things. Um, however, the threat is not finished. This thing is still here. We still need to destroy it. However, we have managed to uh, kill everything else here. We can only shut this thing down. 
it's not going to be getting back up. This thing is well and truly dead. However, we do want to save our grizzly bear. That grizzly bear has decided to sleep next to the fire. Well, it might seem like a good idea because it's nice and warm. The negative is that it will catch you on fire and burn you alive. And I'm hoping that he would wake up from such a thing. Um, the grizzly bear over here is... Uh, there's nothing permanent. We can we can save this grizzly bear. Um, administer bear. Let's administer bear to our grizzly bear. No. Uh, but he will be saved by someone. Someone will come and save him. Um, let's see. Who can we get to come and save? Dave, can you save the grizzly bear? I don't think we can get him to specifically. This is, I guess, the... Hang on, wait. Is reserved by Justice. Okay, well, thank you, Justice. Justice is going to go out there and tend to the grizzly bear. And thankfully, we have some um, snow, which is going to put out all of those flames. Um, okay, so who is... At, uh, yeah, okay. So I was quite hang... Quite, I was hangry. I must have been hangry. I think I probably was hangry. Okay, so... And Bradley is just getting back now as well out of the snow. He is going to need some burn treatment, as will Sam. Justice, thank you very much for coming over and treating our grizzly. He is going to need a lot of treatment, so I hope you brought a plethora of herbal medicine with you. Um, that cipher is no good to us. Um, let's see. Yeah, we can't really do anything with him. This one here, though, we might be able to do an operation. Let's have a look. Let's remove the blade. And then let's shut it down. And the one over here... Yeah, so there's nothing we can do there. Just shut it down. And this one over here, we're just going to shut down that one as well. Okay, how are you doing, Grizzly Bear? Fantastic. I think the Grizzly Bears actually did a good job because they kind of kept it occupied for a little while at the very least. Uh, I'm going to send Booty out here and I'm going to send Panda out here as well because they do have weapons. I'm just going to send them to shoot at this for a little bit. Um, is there anyone else that has a weapon right now that's okay? Torviad is semi-okay, so I might send him out here to come and just shoot at this thing. Yeah. I don't think the EMP grenades would be very useful against it, so I don't think we're gonna, going to use those. Justice, you are up here. You only have a blade. We don't want you to do anything with that. Okay, he is fully treated, um, but he's going to be in shock for a while, I think. And it looks like Justice is going to be shutting down all of uh, the mechanoids here. Okay, so Panda, I want you to go ahead and fire at the ship. Because uh, nothing else should be coming out of there. Oh dear, you are not a very good shot. <laughs> oh dear. Not very good at all. Oh no, th those, those are all heading. Okay, that's something. So it will take a while to uh, to work this thing down. But I feel like um, to finish this up, we really do need to uh, finish killing this ship. So that is exactly what we shall do. We'll all unload our weapons into it. Firing in tandem. Ah, uh, good shot, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, it's dying. It's dying pretty quickly now with the three of them here. Finishing the job. Oh, the poor bastard didn't get shut down. Well, I say poor bastard, but we don't really feel sorry for him. We did shoot at their ship, though, so I guess that's something. And just like that, the ship is destroyed. And we got some silver out of it as well. So, hey, that's something. Uh, and I suppose this potentially might be the final encounter, depending on how the voting goes today. The others are heading up there as I speak to go and shut down and recover some uh, resources from here. But, um, well, we did it. We managed to survive another mechanoid attack of sorts. Um, by taking care of them from a distance with our good old mortar shells, which uh, do a really excellent job. We probably could have got by just um, with uh, EMP shells, actually. We should have made a few of them as well to help take care of them. But uh, the frag ones, they did a perfect job. The reg regular mortar shells did, a, did an excellent job. And it appears that the grizzly that's up there is now capable of walking. He is just going to be resting for a little bit longer. I am shutting down that final mech. And then I suppose we're going to be coming up and collecting them to break down for parts. So, yeah, guys and gals, that has been today's episode of RimWorld and potentially the last full-length one. If we do vote to continue in Alpha 17 to start a new save, to start a new colony, then we will be doing so uh, after we have this little in-between episode, which is going to really wrap things up, wrap the colony up. We're going to go through 
and just uh yeah relive some moments i suppose so again the poll is up the top it would have activated at the start of the episode so do let me know there i will be paying close attention to it making sure that um well making sure that i hear everyone's voice before we continue with the next episode so um there shouldn't be any downtime in between i'm just trying to figure it out so this should be saturday's episode so i usually record these on on monday my time actually sorry tuesday which is monday your time so well i say your time but i say uh I guess, well, for the, for the most of the world it is, in a sense, uh, that would be watching this. Uh, so, yes. Um, let me know. Let me know. But, guys and gals, we have survived so far. And I would say we are almost thriving. Very, very nearly. I mean, Bradley and Sam have some recovery to do, but they'll be able to do that pretty damn quickly. Well, thank you all for joining me. I've been Rykon. You have all been awesome. This has been the Legion and the Citadel. And until next time, stay tuned.